Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Monkelzonkey, and this is going to be kind of a special video. It actually has somewhat of a purpose to it, not just a vlog. Um, in the background, I'm just going to be doing some Slayer. I have Dust Devils at the moment, and uh, 136 to go, so I have a bit. And uh, so I just have some time to talk about stuff, and I figured what I'd talk about is the tasks I do, and the tasks I skip, and how I do them, if I do them, and why I skip them, if I skip them. And this might be a rather long video, because... Uh, I like to go a bit in depth, maybe too much, but um, yeah, just settle in. And I'll I'll go over each task individually that Curadilla assigns. I got the uh, the wiki up right next to the uh, the RS client. You won't be able to see it because it's off the uh, the recorder, but I do have it up. So um, the first task for, we're going from A to Z here because that's just the list that the wiki has them in. Um, is uh, aberrant specters. At the moment, I have those permanently banned, but um, what I'm going to start doing is cannoning tasks now. There's three tasks I'm going to cannon. Um, and the reason why I decided to do this is because uh, the XP is so good cannoning these tasks that I feel that it's worth the uh, extra money put in. Just because um, it would it would just speed it up by that much. So um, aberrant specters are a task that I'm going to start cannoning, and you can do that in the uh, Paul Nivnich dungeon. You just make sure you have to have a Slayer helm on, otherwise you're going to die. And pray mage, and uh, then cannon away, and with the price of herbs being so little now, I wouldn't feel too bad leaving so many herbs on the ground and stuff. So that's the task I do, and I can. Um, the next task is Abyssal Demons. I always do this task. Um, if you have a yak, it's really, really worth doing because you can bank the ashes, and uh, they're like 2.3k each at the moment, but they're definitely going to be going up after the bot nuke and all that. And uh, hopefully, at the moment, ja uh, prayer is just completely ruined in the beta, but. Um, Hopefully Jags can get their act together and fix that so uh, people will want to start training prayer again. And uh, yeah, Ashes will definitely go up someday, you know, because the bots aren't going to stick around forever. There's going to be a bot nuke, and yes, they'll come back, but during the while that they're gone, Ashes and Bones are going to rise. Um, the next task, Aquanites. Uh, most people don't have this task um, unlocked because you have to pay 50 points to even get Curdle to assign it, and I recommend if you haven't unlocked it yet, um, don't because um, it does seem like the vast majority of people absolutely cannot stand this task. But um, if you do have it unlocked and you've just never tried it because you've heard about how awful, I would recommend just um, wear Royal Dehyde and bring a unicorn and enhanced Excalibur, and that will do you for the healing for the trip. Um, or if you don't have a unicorn, wear Prozolite and bring prayer potions and pray magic and just bring along a bunyip as well because they do have a special attack that will turn off your um, prayer. It's a pretty uncommon attack, but when it hits, it does hit hard, so you want the bunny up to heal that. Um, and just try them. They're kind of similar to uh, Dust Devils, you know, their drops aren't wonderful. Um, you'll make like 250k, 300k a task, um, unless you get an amulet arranging, which are about 500, 600k, really depending on the market price. Um, and amulets arranging aren't too uncommon. I've gotten three of them and maybe. 8 to 10 Aquanites tasks, so you will definitely get some, but um, just for sanity's sake, and they are relatively annoying because you do get hit pretty hard if you don't like being hit hard, um, or if you don't have a unicorn and wish to not pray, I recommend not unblocking that task. The next task we got is Black Demons. This is a wonderful task because the uh, the XP is really, really good. You can cannon them in um, Taverly Dungeon, but it's not terribly faster. Um, than just meleeing them. It's definitely not fast enough to warrant the extra cost of a can unless you have plenty of money and you're not worried about throwing it away. Um, so what I would recommend is going into the chaos tunnels, actually this room right here as you can see it, and there's a dungeoneering entrance. Um, I believe it's level 60. I will check that really fast just for the video's sake. I do believe it's like 55 or 60 um, rewards, I'm guessing. Hmm should be coming up soon. Oh, I think I passed it. <laughs> yeah, Chaos Tunnel is Black Demon. Okay, so it's level 70, um, but a lot of people that slay now do have a rapier, so if you have that, you will be able to um, go in the Black Demons. And there's a whole ton of Black Demons in there, and it's multi-combat, so what you can do is just um, turn on 
deflect melee terminal berserker or not use terminal I would recommend not using terminal for that task it will take longer but if you don't use terminal you won't have to bank so that's a good reason to not use it um, just because the task does take quite a while but it is really good XP and really good crimsons and also again if you have a yak you can bank the charm or the uh, urn ashes and if you don't have a yak definitely bring infernal urns um, next task is uh, blue dragons these are cannonable um, down in uh, bot central in the taverly dungeon um, there's two ways I would recommend doing this task um, if you have a yak I would recommend doing it in the uh, Curdles dungeon and then you can just bank bones and hides or if you're not concerned about banking money you can just uh, kill the normal in Curdles dungeon however if you want this task to be over really fast what you want to do is hop to world 2 go to taverly dungeon and um, just south of the blue dragon room there's going to be four baby blue dragon spawns and you want to be on world 2 so they spawn fast enough for you to kill them and you can just kill those things and have the task done in 15 minutes um, it's terrible XP but uh, you don't have to waste points canceling the next task is Dagonos. Um there's two ways I do this tasks I sometimes do DK's which is a lot of fun and very profitable especially if you have a yak or from next sea boots 4 um, since that notes the Dagonoth bones that it drops but um, if you don't you can you'll still make money doing DK's and um, also you can just cannon them in the lighthouse dungeon which is what I'm gonna be doing if I can't find anyone to duo for DK's because um, if you don't duo it's kinda hard to solo an entire task without banking at DK's so uh, yeah I'll most likely just cannon them most of the time after that we got dark beasts which are an absolutely wonderful task um, they're probably the most AFK slayer task there is. You want to just go into Curadel's dungeon, um, turn on Pray for Melee, and uh, there you go. You're just set. And then drink a prayer pot every once in a while. You can also bring renewals to make the AFK time even longer. Um, or you can also cannon them in the Light Temple dungeon, but I'd highly recommend not doing that unless you've done the Within the Light quest, because otherwise you have to bring your Mourner gear and that wastes inventory space, and it's just annoying. So if you have done Within the Light, probably you want to cannon them if you're really worried about the slightly faster XP um, or if you're not and you want to AFK then Curdle's Dungeon literally you you click like once or twice every six minutes it's it's a very very nice task and the XP the melee XP is very very good Slayer XP is good drops not so much um, Desert Strike Worms is the next task if you're concerned about Slayer XP I would recommend not doing those. Um, the drops are decent. Um, you will make a very good amount of money for how short the test is. It takes maybe 45 minutes and you make 400k, so 400-500k. Um, and if you get a focus site, that's an extra like 200-250k. I have no idea. Um, the charms are very bad. The XP is very bad. Um, that's why I'd recommend not doing it if you're concerned about your Slayer XP. I do them because the melee XP is decent and um, the drops are decent. So and I also hate canceling tasks next we got dust devils which is what I'm doing right now and um, I would um, highly recommend doing these because uh, for one they're they're a relatively fast task I'm not doing them very efficiently right now what you really want to do I'll just show an example but you want to attack four of them at a time um, I can't attack that one because he's gone too far to the south, so if I run over there, the one to the north will become unaggressive. But um, And then you can just AFK for a minute or so while your character kills these. Um, and the reason why you want to do these is the Crimson Charms are good, and uh, you can also, if you have a Steel Titan, um, sometimes I bring Geyser Titan down here, but um, I just decided not to, just for the sense of the video, less clicking, more slain, all that. Um, but yeah, bring a Steel Titan or a Geyser Titan down here to speed the task up, and then definitely bring Turmoil, Soul Split. Um, if you do have a Titan, you'll need Soul Split. And uh, yeah, very good task, very good Crimsons, but uh, bad money. And uh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, the next test we got is Fire Giants. Um, there is a method that you can use to cannon these. What you can do is you can go in the Waterfall Dungeon. Um, there is a Dungeoneering entrance in there. Um, I'm not quite sure what the level is, but um, what you can do is you can set up your cannon in the waterfall dungeon and then hop into the dungeoneering entrance and start ranging the fire giants if you have like a crystal bow that works pretty well or even just uh, broad bolts that works fine as well 
Um, and then your cannon will kill a couple of fire giants in the dungeon, in the waterfall dungeon. Then you can hop back inside the dungeon, and refill the cannon. And the task will be got, done very, very fast. Um, the method I use to kill them is I bring turmoil and soul split, and I go into the chaos tunnels. Um, it's actually if you run like north of Verok, there's four entrances. There's one entrance to the chaos tunnels north of Edgeville, and there's four north of the GE. Um, and out of the four north of the GE, the, the Fire Giants one is the one to the very southwest. So if that makes any sense, um, basically, I don't know, you'll just have to discover it yourself, because it took me a while to do it. But you just want to bring Steel Titan or Geyser Titan, if you don't have high summoning, down there, and then just use Soul Split to heal, and just wreck the Fire Giants. It goes by very fast. Um, the XP is pretty good. The, uh, the drops are not the greatest, and... Um, Although, if you do ring, bring Warring of Wealth for some reason, Fire Giants just crap out Ring of Wealth drops. I have no idea why, because they're not very high combat level, but they drop a lot of them. Um, so they do tend to do that a lot. Um, only three people in the clan chat, that's kind of sad. But I guess it is still early in the morning, for me at least. Um, the next task is Ganodermic Creatures. Um, there's two ways you can... Well, there's three different methods for this. Um, first of all, you can cannon them and use like Storm of Arma, and you'll still make back all the money you lose. You don't really make any profit if you do them that way, but it's a very fast task, very good XP, and you don't lose money. Uh, second method is you can just polypore them and safe spot them, or you can also polypore and cannon, but you still you won't make much money. You can polypore and safe spot them. Very good money task. You'll make about one mil or so, you know, depending on how lucky you get with the flakes and the seeds and all that, of course. Um, it doesn't take that long. The Slay XP is not very good. The money is very, very good. The charms are not very good. It's mostly just for money. If you want good XP, cannon them. Um, a lot of people also choose to block these because um, you, by blocking Ganodermic creatures, you also have an option to also block Griffalaroos and Griffalapines, which I'll get to pretty soon. Um, and that, it basically blocks all Polypore creatures. So, if you're more concerned about, like, if you don't care that much and um, the reason why I don't have Ganodermic creatures cancelled is I rarely have any tasks blocked. I do almost every single task. There's only a few that I don't do um, and because of that reason I don't have them blocked so yeah. Uh, the next task we have is Gargoyles. Um, they actually have a pretty high blue charm rate. Uh, the XP there is decent. Um, the drops it really depends. You can definitely make a couple hundred K a task because uh, you can get Mystic Rope Tops and Granite Malls there and Rune Full Helms, which do add up very fast. Um, don't go there worried about the money. The XP is definitely decent. Um, just do them in Curdle's Dungeon. I'd recommend doing this task because uh, a lot of people don't do many tasks in Curdle's Dungeon. You're going to need those tasks just to get rings, so I'd highly recommend doing Gargoyles even for no other reason, just for the rings. Um, the next task is Greater Demons. Of course, uh, doing Zami is an option here. Um, I choose not to because that would make the task last ages since I don't have good gear and I can't do a full task in one or two trips at Zami. Um, but this is a very, very fast task in Curdle's Dungeon, even if you don't choose to cannon in the wild. Of course, you can cannon in the wild. Uh, there's a very, very high chance that you will get PK'd, and that's why I recommend to not do that if you don't enjoy getting PK'd. But if you don't care about losing some cannonballs and stuff, or if you're pretty confident in your skills of dodging PKers. The task takes 10 to 15 minutes if you do it in the wild, and takes like half an hour if you do it in Curdle's Dungeon. I recommend doing this one in the Curdle's Dungeon just for the ring's sake, um, if nothing else. And uh, you do get a few Crimson Charms. Next task is Griffalapines and Griffalaroos. These tasks are awful. They're bad XP, bad money, bad charms. They're just, they're just awful. Don't ever do them. Um, unless you really if you're really, really curious and you want to try them out, um, go for it. But uh, I would be very surprised if anyone actually enjoys either of these tasks. Um, the next task is Grotworms. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, the way I do it is I hop on a foreign server, uh, like a German or Dutch or Portuguese. Or I'm, there's no Dutch worlds. Um, for all the people that say there's Dutch worlds, they aren't. The Dutch worlds are German. But... Um, there's French, German, and Portuguese worlds, and you can kill them on there. There will be quite a few legit players, but um, you will be able to find out of the, what, six foreign, seven foreign worlds, however many there are, um, you definitely will be able to find a couple worlds with quite a few open spots. 
Um, so if you want the profit, go for that, although it will make the task go a lot longer. But um, if you're not too concerned about money, I would highly recommend not canceling this task. And what you can just do is kill the level 10 grot worms. I'm in the very entrance of the grot worm lair, and there's not going to be anyone botting there. Um, the English worlds are completely swamped with bots, so that's why you really can't do them um, on an English world. So if you just want the task over very, very quickly, just kill them in the... Uh, kill the level 10 ones. You won't make any money, but at the same time, the task is over extremely quickly. Really no reason to cancel there. Um, next task we have is Hellhounds. Um, I have these permanently blocked. I'll probably never do them again. Um, there's a couple methods to do them. You can either cannon them in Taverly Dungeon, which is, I would recommend is one of the only ways to do them. Um, the reason why I don't cannon them in Taverly Dungeon, they are amazing XP, but you don't get any drops at all, so I don't feel like it's worth it because it's just such a big loss of money. Um, I actually might consider canning them just a little bit, but uh, for the most part, I'm probably going to. I'm 95% sure I'm just going to keep these on block because uh, it's just too big of a loss, to be honest. Um, all you get from them is gold charms. You really don't get anything else, so if you really want the gold charms, go for it. Um, but the only other reason I would suggest doing them is if you don't do many tasks in Curdle's Dungeon. You can just do them for the rings. They are pretty fast since they have low defense, and they are pretty good Slayer XP even if you don't cannon them, and they are amazing Slayer XP if you do. But again, no drops at all, and the charms are terrible. Um, next task, Ice Strike Worms. I'd highly recommend doing this task. The money is not as good as you'd think. Everyone says, oh, Ice Strike Worms are amazing. Um, unless you get a Staff of Light, you're not going to be making a whole lot of during a task because you lose quite a bit through using fire surge. Um, if you want, you can use polypore. The task will take a fair amount longer, um, but you won't lose nearly as much through the rune costs. Um, the drops, you'll make, get maybe 800k to 1 mil worth of drops, but at the same time, fire surge costs about 500k just to, for a task. So the drops aren't good, but the Slayer XP is actually very good, um, especially if you cannon. Um, you can can nice strike worms. I don't because I don't really see a reason to. Since uh, yeah, no reason to. But the magic XP is insane there. Um, with fire surge, I think it's like 200k magic XP a task, and with fire wave, which is what I do, it's anywhere from 100 to 150k a task, depending on how many you get. Obviously, um, I don't have the magic level for fire surge, so I can't use that yet. But um highly recommend doing that task. Also, you get quite a few blue charms, and they drop a lot of rare drop table drops as well. Uh, next task, Iron Dragons. Yes, these are good. Um, I'd recommend doing these in Curdle's Dungeon for the rings again, and also Rapier just tears them. With Rapier and Turmoil, you can get the task done very fast. Um, also, like... They are decent charms because they drop two charms at a time, mostly green charms, but you can get some uh, crimson and blues there as well. And uh, they are high combat level, so um, effigy. <laughs> I, I'm just saying that because the last two effigies I got were both at Iron Dragons, which I thought is kind of funny. Um, next task is Jungle Strike Worms. These tasks are... This is a bad task in pretty much every way possible. Um, with how little herbs and seeds and uh, papayas are worth now, you're not going to be making much money from this task. Like, you get a lot of noted drops, so it looks like it's good money, but it's not, because none of it is really worth that much. Maybe 150-200k profit for an hour task, which is awful. Um, the charms are terrible, the slayer XP is terrible, the melee XP is atrocious. <laughs> well, it's not terrible, it's, it's pretty bad, though. Um, this is just a bad task in every way. I do them because I enjoy actually doing them. I have no idea why I do. Um, but if you're looking for a task to cancel, uh, these are by far a lot worse than deserts. Deserts at least are decent money. Um, although you can can in deserts, so that helps as well. Next task is cow fights. Um, you can either cannon them in the cow fight lair if you haven't done the do no evil quest. And it's pretty annoying because the cannon will kill all the cow fights and then you'll have to wait a little while for them to respawn, which is kind of frustrating. Um, or you can also, uh, if you have done Do No Evil, this is an amazing XP task um, because you can cannon them in the, uh, there's some place you unlock during the Do No Evil quest. If you've done the quest, you're going to know what it is. And uh, just spectacular XP there, which is why I'd recommend doing them if you've done the quest. If you haven't, it's really up to you. They're not amazing XP, although you can cannon them. Um, they're decent, so it's really just up to you whether you want to spend the money on cannoning for semi-decent XP. I have these permanently blocked because I haven't done Do No Evil. Um, 
Next task is living rock creatures. This task really depends on your patience. Um, if you have 73 mining and you don't mind a very, very long task, then I would recommend doing them. Um, you do get a fair amount of money because living minerals, of course, um, and they drop a ton of really like noted ores and all that that really add up. Um, and you can just uh, make 600, 700k profit. But the task will take an hour and a half to two hours. You can cannon them, of course, but uh, still, it's going to be a very, very long task whether you cannon them or not. Personally, I enjoy them because the melee XP there is just unbelievably good. Um, the Slayer XP is decent, especially if you cannon them. Uh, the charms are terrible, and the money is is decent. Um, it's definitely worth doing, in my opinion. But uh, it really just depends on your patience. A lot of people just get fed up because the task takes so long, and that's okay. Um, Mithril dragons. I have these. I mostly do them. I absolutely hate doing this task. I don't know why. Um, it's just annoying. But well, the strategy I use is I bring super antifires, of course, and then I just wear royal and I pray melee, um, and you you really hardly get touched. Um, a unicorn stallion is all you're going to need healing-wise with an, bring an uh, enhanced Excalibur for emergencies, but um, if you have like 99 defense, 90 mage, you know, and you wear royal with unicorn, that's all you're going to need. If you don't have a unicorn, then I'd recommend just bring a ro uh, war tortoise full of monkfish, and uh, that should set you for the whole task. Um, this task you definitely do make money because like once you're getting near the end of the task you can just fill up your inventory or your war tortoise if you brought it with uh, bones and they do drop a ton of charms um, it is quite a good task for charms the melee in Slayer XP is kinda iffy not the best but the drops are actually pretty good um, you will definitely make I don't know 100 to 200k in a very short amount of time and the charms are pretty good um, next task is mutated Judenkos there's two ways you could do this task, as with most tasks. I would not recommend doing the guards at all, unless um, you don't have 91 Slayer yet, and then you can do the guards, because they do drop whip binds, but the whip bind drop rate from guards is very, very low. Um, oh, someone else here. Great, I'm getting crashed. I'm getting crashed at... Well, there's four people on Warren World. Um, I'm going to have to hop. So I'm going to pause and be right back after I've hopped. Just what I needed. I got a lamp in my highest skill. Wonderful. Um. Anyways, back to what I was talking about is um. So I was on mutated jinkos. All right. If you have 91 Slayer, um, I would recommend killing the guards. Although this is a very, very extremely long task. Probably the longest task there is. If you end up killing the guards, because they have a ton of HP. Also, they hit very, very hard. Um. So just be aware of that. But if you bring a unicorn and some food and an enhanced Excalibur and a little bit of soul split too, you should be able to do the task in two bank trips. Or I mean one bank trip, two trips there. Um, or possibly three, depending on how many you get. Um, I would recommend doing the males just for the reason that the XP is so good. Um, doing the males, especially the male XP, the Slayer XP is pretty good too. Um, also, if you have the patience to pick up all the uh, extra sense and mutated vines, you will make 500, 600k just from the bolas alone. Um, you'll make another 200, 300k from all the herbs and uh, noted stuff that they drops. They drop noted herbs, by the way. Um, but it literally takes five to ten minutes to make all the bolas, and uh, it's like 600k. So I'd highly recommend doing that if you have 87 fletching, which is what you need for it. Um, so why not cuz it is that that's like the main way to make money um i've actually got a whip vine two out of the three mutated jinko male tasks i've done i used to do the babies cuz you can also do the babies the task will take half the time and you will get definitely decent drops and decent xp um just for the task since you are doing the babies and all so i would recommend doing this task either way although um if you do do the males it is amazing xp but it takes so long so if you're not up for that that's all right. Uh, next is uh, neck reels. This task is pretty much as close as it gets to a perfect task if you do them in the chaos tunnels um, and you bring uh, steel titan or geyser titan or what have you, fire titan even if you want the healing. Um, just bring soul split turmoil. You'll wreck them. It is really good XP, really good charms, and also pretty good money as well since they do drop a lot of seeds. 
Um, if you have a yak, definitely bring that to bank the bones and then just heal with still split in the chaos tunnels. But you can attack, like, I think there's six or seven spawns. You can attack all of them and just have them on you and then just AFK and then pick up the ashes and bank them with the yak. And it doesn't really get much better than that just because this task is pretty much good in every way. Um, next is skeletal wyverns. Really good money here and really good charms. Um, XP is leaves somewhat to be desired. Um, and kind of the fun factor of doing this task is probably the worst out of any task that there is. It is just awful. It, this task is awful and horrible, but the rewards are so good. Um, I force myself to do it just for the charms alone. Um, but if you're really not up for this just god-awful task, or if you really don't need the charms and don't care about the money, I would highly recommend skipping these. You can tan cannon them, which does speed it up a little. Next task is Spiritual Mages. Um, this task is an iffy one. They don't drop any charms at all. Uh, their drops, really, other than charms, are pretty bad. Although it is a fast task since they have very, very low defense and not too many hit points, and they're all relatively close together in the Ceridoman room in the God Wars dungeon. Um, this was just completely up to you, really. I don't find them very fun. I have them permanently blocked. Just because, well, mainly because they don't drop charms and uh, D boots aren't worth all that much anymore. Although you you can easily get a couple of pairs of D boots a task, and they're like 130, 140k each, so you definitely will make a few hundred k. It is nice profit for uh, how short this task is. Next task is steel dragons. These are amazing. Um, you can cannon them in the Brimhaven dungeon, although it is really really annoying to get there. Um, you can also just use rapier. In Curdle's dungeon, just tear them to pieces, which is what I do. Um, do this task for the rings, if nothing else. The charms are really good, the Slayer XP is decent, and the money is pretty good. So, uh, this is again just um, v pretty close to a perfect task. Maybe not so much as Necreals, but they are an absolutely wonderful task. Um, next is Sequas. You can cannon these, and even if you don't cannon these, they're decent XP and they are very, very fast because Curdle only assigns a small amount at a time. Um, so there's no reason to skip this task whatsoever, especially because you can now just home tele the Lunar Isle. It used to be annoying to get there, but uh, you can just home tele there now, so there is absolutely no reason to not do this task. Uh, next up we got Terror Dogs, which is one of my favorite tasks actually, because Kirtle assigns very small numbers of them, and they die pretty fast. So just you use your Slayer Ring to get there to Tarn's Lair and uh, just tear them to pieces. Uh, it takes hardly any time at all. The one disadvantage of this task, the only thing that I can really um, see standing out against this task is um, you can't use prayer because the... well you can if you want to, but um, the the area, it says like the evil in the area drains your prayer, and it drains your prayer very rapidly. Um, you still definitely can use prayer, you're just gonna have to use a lot of prayer potions. Um, but this task is over so fast, and the XP is pretty good as well. Charms, they do have a fairly high rate, drop rate for blue charms. Money, uh, don't expect much, but uh, again, this task is over in 10 minutes, so yeah. Um, next up, we got Tazar. This this task is just... Okay, well, if you, if you are willing to do Jad in the fight caves, it's good XP, it's very fast, um, it takes half an hour, especially if you got the obby ring and pretty much max max melee and you're on that task. This guy's using adamant knives, which is kind of odd. I've never really seen that before, but um, that task is really, really good if you decide to do JAD. I don't do JAD. I actually do the task without doing JAD, which is just completely terrible. Um, you don't get really any drops at all. Worth noting, the XP is really, really bad, and uh, the charms, you don't even get charms, so... <laughs> The charms are non-existent. It's pretty much just an awful task any way you look at it, but it is pretty fast, so that's why I do it. Um, I just kind of force myself to do it, although it is a terrible task. Uh, next up, we got Virewatch. Um, wonderful, wonderful task here if you like AF Kane, because you can really just uh, attack a Virewatch, um, drink your prayer renewal, uh, dose up to full and come back and the task will be half done and then just dose up to full prayer again and then the task will be done in a few minutes uh, it's amazing xp um, if you do choose to pick up the blood and death rings that they drop because they drop a ton of them uh, it is decent money as well um, this task is just really really good any way you look at it i personally don't enjoy it for whatever reason i don't even really know why um, yeah um, next we got uh, warped tortoises 
and these don't do these because of bots um, if you really want to you can hop to a foreign world the money during this task is actually really good um, but that's the only thing it has going for it the XP is awful you can cannon them but since there's only two spawns you're going to kill both tortoises and then just stand around waiting for a while I used to love this task before the bots absolutely swarmed it but I don't really want to hop to a foreign world just to kill warp tortoises and I don't even know if it's packed on the foreign worlds because I've never checked out imagine there's probably legit players uh, that are actually trying to slay um, I have these perm blocked um, I'll never do them just due to the bots if the bots ever are completely gone and warp tortoises are empty again I will probably start doing them just because the money is so good they drop a lot of tortoise shells which are worth quite a bit and um uh, they also drop a lot of rune pickaxes and rune warhammers, fairly common, and some noted stuff. Uh, and, okay, the very, very last task we have is water fiends. There's only one reason to do this task, really, and that's for the crimson charms. The XP is terrible, and if you don't enjoy the task, then I'd recommend not doing it. But um, if you do need the crimsons, it is very, very good crimsons. There's not much else you can say about that. Um, also, the profit is pretty good from the task, because of all the drops you'll get. Um and it it doesn't take too long it takes it is a long task definitely but um compared to the rewards that you get i do think it's worth it so uh, yeah that's all the tasks i talked about i saw i'm sorry i went so in depth um if anyone wants to hear like a condensed version i can just quickly go over what tasks and i'll just be like can this one don't do this one don't ever do this one or i'll kill you stuff like that um i won't actually kill you but i will anyway as a wrap up, I'm almost done with this Dust Devils task. Wow, commentating makes it go by really fast. That's fun. Join my friends chat. Only a couple people in here now, which, uh, thanks for being in here, guys. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad to see. Come on, more people in here, please. And, um, yeah, enjoy your slain. Um, and I hope you enjoyed me <laughs> ramble on about which tasks I enjoy doing and why. Um, the reason why I don't cancel, like, hardly any tasks is I like to save up my Slayer points because. Uh, 1k slayer points is like 4 mil worth of runes, so that's why I save my points. And I have like 1.5k points, 1.6k points at the moment, so I have about 5 to 6 mil worth of runes and points already. Um, by the time I have 99 slayer, I'll probably have like over 10 mil worth of points. Yeah, that's why I don't cancel tasks. So uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed the longer video. I know a lot of people like just having something to click and then just listen to for quite a while so I'm happy to oblige I can always do more of these I don't mind commentating it definitely hurts my throat but it also helps uh, the slayer go by a bit faster so thanks for watching and uh, farewell